Hi, Tom here with this week's Circle Line Art School drawing tutorial. One way to draw steps, step by step, using two point perspective. Start by drawing a soft horizontal line. You could use a ruler or draw it freehand. At each end of this line, we can have a vanishing point, which is a point where all receding parallel lines will look like they meet. In this drawing, we're going to use two, which means we're using two point perspective and we're looking left and right. Now draw a line from the right vanishing point towards the middle base of your drawing. It is just a guideline so it can be quite soft. We only need to use the nearest part of this line. Next, draw another line from the left vanishing point. Now we can repeat this with a new line to the right vanishing point. and a new line to the left vanishing point. This will create a rectangle in two point perspective, which is lower than the horizon line. Next, we can draw a wedge shape that we will need as a guideline for the steps. To do this, draw a vertical upright line from the right corner and then a soft guideline all the way to the left vanishing point. Then we can draw another vertical line at the back of the rectangle on the ground. Now we can draw two diagonal lines to the base of the rectangle. Now we can divide the height of the line on the right, the vertical line on the right, with a series of dots which represent the height of each of the steps that we're going to draw in two point perspective. Now using the right vanishing point we can draw a series of guidelines which go through each of these dots going towards the left of the drawing. For each of these lines we can draw an upright for a step. So we can repeat this process for each step, one step at a time. And all of these steps are going to the right vanishing point. You'll find that your drawing of steps might look different to mine, which is fine as long as you follow each of the techniques step by step. The reason for this is it depends on the exact angle of the lines of the first rectangle that we drew in two point perspective and also on how high you placed the horizontal line in your drawing. But if you just follow along, you should get all of the steps working really well. Next, we can use the left vanishing point for all of the receding lines of the steps as they go away towards the left. Notice how each of these receding lines stops above the diagonal line the diagonal guideline from the original rectangle in two point perspective on the ground. Next, use the left vanishing point to draw the receding lines of the top tread of each of the steps. In my drawing, we can only see the top tread for the lowest step. The reason for that is that that's the only step that is below the horizon line. Anything below the horizon line, we're basically looking down at and anything above the horizon line we're looking up at. So we can only see the top tread of a step if we're looking down at it. But when we're looking up at a step, the top tread of a step is invisible and therefore we can't draw it. Once you've finished the first steps of this drawing and they all work okay, well then you could add some more steps on the right. To do that, we use exactly the same technique as we did for the steps going receding to the left vanishing point. But this time the steps are receding to the right vanishing point. If you want to make the steps even height, you can read across the height of the first steps on the left using the line from the left vanishing point going to the right 
of the vertical line on the right and then another line for the left vanishing point again going to the right from the base of the steps. Once you have these two lines then we can draw a diagonal guideline for the angle of the steps. Next we can draw two receding lines from the vanishing point on the right going to the base of the angle of the new steps and then going from the top of the angle of the new steps to the right vanishing point. Next we can use the left vanishing point and this time we can draw a guideline extending the height of the steps on the left but this time going right using the vertical line as a guide for where these lines change direction. So in this way the height of the steps will stay the same on the left and the right. If you'd like to learn more about how to draw from scratch, please consider joining one of my online drawing courses. There are more details at circlelineartschool.com. My number one online drawing course is called How to Draw from Scratch and offers easy to follow step by step approach using simple terms and techniques. Each section teaches fundamental techniques needed to master the art of drawing from scratch. Once you purchase one of my online drawing courses you get full lifetime access to all content and all updates. So if you're interested in improving your drawing, starting at the very beginning, please visit circlelineartschool.com for more details. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for a new drawing tutorial every week. And if you'd like to know more details about my online courses, please visit circlelineartschool.com.